On this week's episode of What's Your Fantasy Football, we are going to talk about the top 10 quarterbacks 2024 in your fantasy football league. PPR, not that it matters, but you definitely want to make sure you get one of those quarterbacks that throws the ball a lot. I tell you what, we'll break it down on this episode right after this. Hey, look. Ruin the dreams under pressure. Peachy be the one to bless ya. But don't test her. The queen reigns supreme. <laughs> you know what I mean? Add the boy Breezy Prince like a king. When the two come together in any weather, they form a bond, stay tight in any measure. So it's my pleasure. The number one team. Let the world know what's your fantasy. Welcome to What's Your Fantasy Football Show. We're your hosts, Wayne Breezy, Crystal Peachy B. And on this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the top 10 quarterbacks, PPR, if that matters to you, on this week's episode. Peachy, let's not waste any time. Let's get right down to it. Again, welcome to the show. Don't forget to click that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. And don't forget, you can become a member of the channel by joining the Wayne Breezy. All right, here we go. Let's get to these quarterbacks. As you can see, we are going to have some fun with this. Peachy, I want to know who your top 10, who's your number 10 quarterback? Who do you think should be number 10 off this list? Let's see if we can get this right. Oh, wow. Number 10? Number 10. I, had to ch I wanted to change it up a little bit. I was going to ask you number one. And I was like, nah, give me number 10. Oh, wow. Um, let's go with Anthony Richardson. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Anthony Richardson. Okay. I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford. I think Matthew Stafford is going to be number 10 uh, on our list. Now, the crazy thing is we created this list, but I have, I have no idea who's on this list because I forgot. <laughs> so here we go. Well, we're going to start with number 10. It's Jared Goff. Jared Goff from the Detroit Lions. Peachy, he's number 10. Talk a little bit about Jared Goff and why he should be drafted. Okay, so Jared Goff used to play for the Rams, of course, and now he plays for Detroit. He got a new lease on life, a new contract, and everything else that he got. So he is definitely known for being a thrower of the football. So, therefore, you know, he's going to get you a lot of points. We already um, discussed the tight ends last time. And with him and the Porta connection, definitely going to get a lot of PPR points with this one. Because, and then not only him, but, you know, of course, the receivers, you have St. Brown. And then Goff him, him, himself has been known to, you know, run a touchdown in time or two if he's right by the line. So, yeah, number 10 is probably a good spot for him. There's a lot of exciting quarterbacks in here. So, All okay. Right. Uh, listen, he threw the ball 605 times, 4,575 yards, and 30 TDs. Interceptions with that 12, which are good because that's relatively low. Uh, and so, yeah, like this is the guy. And when you're looking for a quarterback, you want to look at a quarterback that's going to throw the ball, that has the least amount of turnovers, and that has the most TDs because yards will come if he has a great supporting cast. Peachy talked about his supporting cast. Jared Goff is our number 10. Number 9. Oh, is that Mr. Love? Is that Dude Love out of Green Bay? Jordan Love. Peachy, talk a little bit about Jordan Love. First of all, let me put this in here. I know we're going to catch a lot of flack. Go ahead and leave your comments <laughs> about where he's at because no, a lot not. of people. He's exactly where he's supposed to be. At. <laughs> Number nine. Go ahead. Um, and Jordan Love is spectacular. He is doing a great job in Green Bay, just got paid again. So he's definitely going to be showing out this year. He also has a lot of targets in this offense and is can also move. So therefore he can get run touchdowns in and, and everything like that. But Jordan Love has a really good cast, just like Jared Goff does. And I expect big things out of Jordan Love this year. 
At Jerk, uh, Jordan Love finished the season with 579 attempts, 4,159 yards, 32 TDs, uh, and uh, 11 interceptions. So he's definitely right up there. So, you know, it's crazy. Whoever's going to be eight and down, they better have over 4,000 yards, 30-plus TDs, and 11, uh, and, 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 and I would say – anything under 15 interceptions right uh you know going into fantasy football season you talked about a supporting cast you got Jaden reed you got christian watson he does have some players out there uh they run the ball relatively well they did lose aaron jones which was one of his targets but they did pick up josh jacobs so that may help uh him just as much i, I don't think they skip a beat when it comes to throwing the ball to the running back so he'll get those yards as well jordan love at number nine all right who is number eight brock purdy from the 49ers make it quick this is why we're gonna catch flag in the comments about where jordan love but is i'm telling of, you he's ahead of jordan love i think he was better than jordan love i thought well, brock purdy had a better season than jordan love i'm about to read his stats and his stats are better except for in one category touchdowns okay well brock purdy has a lot of weapons. They like to call them the Avengers. And there is plenty of them out there. I expect huge things from Brock this year, even better than last year. I feel like he's more seasoned in this offense. I feel like he's ready to roll. Brock Purdy it can, can get them touchdowns. He can get you those points. I have seen a lot of people that are drafting Brock. And I'm very excited about that, not just because he's my quarterback, but because I think that Brock is going to to save a lot of people's fantasy leagues this year. So I'm very excited about Mr. Brock Purdy. It's possible. Definitely has a supporting cast that are full of all pros. And remember, the Niners drafted every one of them except for Christian McCaffrey, who they traded for. So it's not like – I mean, and, and we talked about some of those other players being in the top list too. Uh, Brock Purdy – uh, probably the least amount of attempts of the quarterbacks in this particular category. But listen, he had 444 attempts, right? 4,280 yards. So he still was a 4,000-yard throwing quarterback with almost 200 less attempts than, than the last two people that we talked about. He did have 11 interceptions on the season, uh, and he had 31 touchdowns. So uh, listen, Brock Purdy, it could be the man. Now, where you're drafting these these bottom tier three quarterbacks in our top ten, that's totally up to you. I feel like the cool thing about those last three guys, Jared Goff, uh, Jordan Love, and Brock Purdy, you can get them later in the draft. You don't have to go quarterback super duper early. And you're not drafting those guys super duper early unless you're just like a fan and you want your quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, you got Brock Purdy on the list um, at, was he, number – Brock Purdy's like 10, nine, eight, at number eight. So now we got to get to seven. And this is where we might get the flack because people might be like, wait a minute. <laughs> Dak Prescott from the Dallas Cowboys. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, Dak Prescott from the Dallas Cowboys. Peachy, keep it snappy. <laughs> Dak. I did forget to mention that Brock Purdy was an MVP candidate last year along with this one right here. Mr. Dak Prescott was also an MVP candidate last year, and he was also an Offensive Player of the Year candidate as well. So Dak Prescott also has weapons to, to throw to, not as many as Brock does, but he still has a pretty decent offense. And, of course, he's got that Mr. C.D. Lamb that's about to get paid. So I'm I'm looking for big things out of Dak Prescott. Breezy's right. This is going to get a lot of comments. And that's fine. Bring them all because we will address every single one of them. <laughs> Listen, I don't like Dak Prescott because I don't like Dallas Cowboys, but I would absolutely draft this guy. Why? Because I know he's going to throw the ball. He's going to throw touchdowns. He led the league, I believe, in touchdowns. 36 touchdowns, right? 590 attempts, 410 completions, uh, 4,516 yards. The yards, the touchdowns, and the interceptions were low. We only had nine. The other quarterbacks we had talked about had double digit interceptions but at the end of the day he's doing this with like, like out without a running game right like without a running game so i i like dak prescott honestly i and and he's number seven on our list if you're playing fantasy football uh you know me being a homer goes out the window i'm getting the guy that i think can help me win again 
This is a value quarterback. You can get a little bit later in the draft, all right? A little bit later in the draft. So pay attention to see where these quarterbacks go. There might be a run on quarterback. So if you see a run on quarterbacks, you might want to go ahead and, and pick up Dak. And here we go. Are we at number six? That was number seven. My man, a.k.a. I'm going to call him Mr. Houston, even though his name is C.J. Stroud. Uh, make it snappy, Peachy. C.J. Stroud. I will make it snappy because I can talk about my guy all day long. C.J. Stroud wowed the league last year with how spectacular he did in a Houston Texan offense that was missing a lot of players due to injury, and he was still able to be rookie of the year. So offensive it was rookie of the year. Offensive correct. rookie of the year. My apologies. He, I'm looking for big things this year. Stroud is is getting drafted a lot higher than I think a lot of people expected because he has the addition of Stefan Diggs along with all the other wonderful toys that he has in this offense. I'm looking for big things out of Mr. C.J. Stroud this year. Uh, no one's talking about where I think the Houston Texans may have upgraded a little bit more. Uh, and I'll give you that piece uh, in a second because I got to think of his name. It'll, it'll come to me, but I promise I got you. Uh, listen, 499 attempts. This kid almost had 500 attempts his rookie season. He threw 23 touchdowns. He threw for 4,108 yards, and he only turned the ball over five times. He had five interceptions. Offensive player, rookie of the year, C.J. Stroud. Listen, you might... If, if, if there's going to be a run on the quarterbacks, this is the guy you're going to want to get. Because if the top five quarterbacks get taken a little bit early, you better go ahead and find a way to secure C.J. Stroud. Uh, the piece that I was talking about was the former running back from Cincinnati Bengals, who's now Houston's running back. And this is what I think is going to help C.J. Stroud because we talked about throwing the ball to running backs on one of our episodes in PPR. And even though he's not a top 10 running back, PPR. He might just be my sleeper running back this year when we do our sleeper show. Who is that running back, Peachy? I cannot think of his name. Joe name. Mixon. Joe freaking Mixon. <laughs> Joe Mixon. So listen, that's going to enable my man, Mr. Houston, a.k.a. C.J. Stroud, even more. This kid was throwing 4,000. He threw for 4,000 yards without a pass-catching running back, and now he's about to get one. Woo! Watch out. C.J. Stroud at number six. Number five. We're going with Mr. Uh, Slim Shady. My man got the gold, blonde, platinum plus looking like a white Cisco. Uh, we got Joe Burrow. He's cool to me. I like Joe Burrow. Uh, I wish we could say he would be higher on the list, but for some reason his health isn't wealth. And so how you feel about Joe Burrow? Okay. Um, also wanted to mention that CJ missed two, two games due to a concussion last year and still – had had really really good stats so great fantasy guy for anyone who needs one joe burrow i drafted mr joe burrow because i believe i have faith that he is going to to stay healthy <laughs> and he is going to win me a lot of of uh, weeks so let's hope he does. But when when he's healthy, he's definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League and in fantasy football because he has these beautiful weapons that he can throw to in Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. I do not remember what their new running back's name is, but he has quite... Got Chase Brown, uh, yeah. who they drafted, and they have uh, another kid who I think is uh, dealing with the injury, but they got some They got some guys. If he stays healthy, he's definitely going to be one that you're going to want to pick up. He's definitely a top quarterback when healthy. When healthy, Joe Burrow is throwing over 600 attempts a season. I can tell you that right now. He was on his way. Uh, he only played in 10 games last year, and then he was injured. He finished that year with 2,309 yards with 15 TDs and only six interceptions. Uh, but unfortunately, he was injured. So you could draft with caution. 
you could skip over him, get him a little bit later, but make sure you pick up that guy, CJ Stroud, because I think he's going to creep up if you want to draft. But just based off of what we've seen Joe Burrow do, he's rated a little bit higher because he did it consecutively in 2021 and 2022, where he threw for 30 plus touchdowns, over 4,000 yards both uh, seasons, and kept the interception numbers under 15, like I asked. That's something that I'm looking for because you lose points for interceptions. So uh, you can Keep that number down. PG talked about a supporting cast. Joe Burrow is a top 10 quarterback. The question is, where would you draft Joe Burrow knowing his injury history? Speaking of injury history, we're talking about Jalen Hurts out of Philadelphia, who gave us like a really good season, got paid, and then things shifted a little bit. Jalen Hurts, Peachy. I feel like that Jalen Hurts... I feel like he got a raw deal last year The the whole entire offense just didn't work the way that he wanted it to work. Now he has Kellen Moore that used to be with the Cowboys. That's his offensive coordinator. A lot of fun and exciting things that happen. My son being a Philly fan tells me that we need to look out for this kid in fantasy. You're definitely going to want to grab Hertz because Hertz is very mobile. So he's so he's able to do so many versatile things in this league. So definitely one of your PPR guys that you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on. Looking for huge things after the letdown from Philly last season with well, Jalen Hurts. The, the team was a letdown. Jalen Hurts wasn't a letdown. He was dealing with nagging injuries all season long, and I believe it's part of because of – the way that they use his mobility, that 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 tush push, all that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, he did finish the season throwing the ball 538 times. So he's still going to be a thrower of the ball, right? Finished with 3,858 yards. And I don't have his rushing TDs, but he threw for 23 passing TDs, right? He had 15 interceptions last season, which was the highest he's ever had in his career, okay? But at the end of the day, like PG said, this could be that bounce back season. They got a different running back. They got everything is going to look a little different. Uh, they did lose a key piece in Jason Kelsey to their offensive line, but I don't think that they're going to struggle as much. But the reason why he's ranked pretty high is because he can get in the end zone. And when a quarterback can get in the end zone, that's six points and not four. Okay, so pay attention to that. That's why Jalen Hurts is ranked up there at the number he is ranked. All right, next we're going to go to another quarterback. MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is not the top fantasy quarterback this year. He is number three, but he's right ahead of Jalen Hurts. Peachy, what are your thoughts on Patrick Mahomes and why are you drafting him? First of all, Jalen Hurts, also according to his training, this might help you guys in fantasy because like Breezy said, INTs, can can bring down your score really fast like a hurricane he has thrown 200 and something times without throwing an interception so he has yet to throw an interception in training camp preseason anything you know so none of that, none of that matters well, I'm camp. just I'm just saying, it's just, you know, it's the opposite of you throwing a lot of interceptions in training camp and then throwing none in the regular <laughs> season. It, it doesn't matter. That means he's going to throw 30 interceptions. Stay away from Jalen Hurts, please. Please stay away. As far as Patrick Mahomes, it's really ironic that we have him at number three because he also finished third on the NFL top 100. This oh, year. that is ironic. <laughs> oh, I, when, when we tell you this is not planned. <laughs> We made a list, we put them in an order, and we left it at that. Matter of fact, the list was done before the NFL Top 100, now that I think about it. Pat Mahomes has weapons galore in this Chiefs offense. Of course, he has the man in Travis Kelsey, and he also has a rookie in, in Worthy that is just, yeah. So Mahomes, you can't go wrong with drafting Mahomes. You need to try to make sure that if they're – if people start taking quarterbacks, Mahomes has got to be one of your top three that you look at drafting definitely. Because one thing about it, Mahomes will get touchdowns. Mahomes is going to get that ball out to his running backs. He's going to get the ball out to his receivers, his tight end, to fullback. I mean, it doesn't matter. 
that ball is going to come out. And he's also very mobile, so he can run as well in touchdowns, touchdowns. But Mahomes is all about his touchdowns. He definitely extends plays, 597 mm -hmm. attempts. All right, 4,183 yards, 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions on last season. It's the most interceptions he's ever thrown in his career. That was his interception high last year. But he does have some new guys. And we don't know how much of a weapon they're going to be. You can base what you want off of fantasy football. I do know that Xavier Worthy will provide the speed element for him down the field. Uh, the question is, will he be able to get the ball down near in time? But look, I'm going to tell you what, how I draft Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, if I have the, op, the, the, the luxury of where I'm drafting and and Travis Kelsey is my first pick. Patrick Mahomes is my second pick. Like it's just that's just how it works because that has always been a dynamic duo, fantasy double digit scoring point every week. Last year it didn't work as well as I planned, but I believe that that combo is going to be back. Make sure you pick up Patrick Mahomes as one of your top quarterbacks. Top two quarterbacks: Lamar Jackson, NFL's MVP. <laughs> At number two, Lamar Jackson, Peachy. Why is he number two, and why are you drafting him? Lamar Jackson, and you could easily say that, that Lamar Jackson was number one because this dude is so dynamic. And talk about fantasy gold. Every single year, despite how their team finishes, Lamar Jackson shines. He's always shined. He's been MVP twice, and it's a... And he just, with that connection that he has with Mark Andrews, like we talked about, no matter what running backs out there, he always finds one out there to get the ball to. And he's all about touchdowns. And himself, he also can, can get you PPR points. As we learned last year that Lamar Jackson can throw the ball and catch the same ball that he threw. <laughs> So, you ain't never lied. He can get a catch of two or three. He is so amazing. Could easily be number one. And if you, if even before the quarterbacks come off of the board, if 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 the little conscious thing in your head is telling you take a quarterback, this would be the one that I would choose. If I had one if, to if, choose, it would be if, him. If, if you drafted Lamar Jackson third, I wouldn't be mad. If you drafted him now, depending on what type of league, some people play double quarterback league. This guy, this is the guy you gotta get. If you play double quarterback league, make sure you draft your quarterbacks first, right? But if you're playing in a regular PPR league, like I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be mad if someone drafted him with their third pick in the draft in that third round. I could see him going in the third round just because of what his value is. You just talked about it. 457 attempts. Hey, 457 attempts. That's close to Brock Purdy's. Sorry, it just hit me. I didn't realize that there was another quarterback that only threw the ball 400 times, but nobody talked about how he threw the ball 400 times, but, oh, Brock, don't throw the ball. Anyway, I'm having a moment. All right, 3,678 yards, 24 TDs, seven interceptions. So his interceptions were uh, a lower than Brock Purdy's, but he threw – he had four less interceptions, and he had seven less touchdowns. And he had way less yards, and he finished MVP. This is not that show. Draft Lamar Jackson, number <laughs> two. This is not that show. We're not going to have this conversation on MVP. Number one quarterback in fantasy football this year should be Josh Allen, or shouldn't it be? Peachy, talk about Josh Allen from the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen is always going to be a top fantasy pick because he can – can throw like the best football ever <laughs> in this league he's amazing and not only that but he also like i talked about um on a, a previous show with the tight ends he has kincaid so and 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 then he has the new the the rookie keon coleman and then he has other receivers out there as well he does not have stefan diggs anymore I don't think that's going to change a solitary thing. Apparently, the list don't feel like it's going to change anything either. So, and he's also very mobile. Let me not forget about that. <laughs> so, he he's definitely mobile and he's also all about getting them touchdowns. 
Mobile is one of his key characteristics. Um, he's going to find his way into the end zone using his feet. But what I like about Josh Allen is he's going to throw the ball. 579 attempts last season, uh, 4,306 yards, 29 touchdowns. Now, he's going to throw the ball a lot. So his interceptions, it was the highest in his career last year at 18 interceptions, the most interceptions he's thrown. Now, a lot of that can change. Like, a lot of it can change. Uh, will James Cook be a top-tier running back? Is he a sleeper running back to pick up? Because he is one of the pass-catching premier running backs. He didn't make our top 10 list. Check out that video up there of our top 10 running backs. But, but like I feel like Josh Allen, when he is on the football field, you can expect a consistent game week in and week out from Josh Allen. So you want a quarterback that's going to be able to get you 20 plus points every single week. That's Josh Allen. Like I, I like 20, 20 to 30 points every single week is Josh Allen. Not really anybody to double him up with um, like how I would do Patrick Mahomes, maybe Lamar Jackson and, and Mark Andrews could be a good double pair. Uh, but Peachy talked about Dalton Kincaid. He was targeted high. Uh, check out our tight ends episode as well. Uh, you click on that episode up there. So you you know, they're, they're, uh, Josh Allen is just right now the premier go to fantasy guy. He's relatively healthy. He, he he plays just about every single game, every single year since he's been in the league. Josh Allen is our number one. Just a quick recap: one Allen, two Jackson, three Mahomes, four Hertz, five Burrow, six Stroud, seven Prescott, eight Purdy, nine Love, ten Golf. Top ten quarterbacks in fantasy football for 2024 ppr league right here on what's your fantasy let us know what you think about our show in the comment section hit that thumbs up don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode and don't forget to check out some of the other episodes right now that we got going on on what's your fantasy by clicking the links right above thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching Ain't not ready. Ain't not ready. Ain't look. Ruin the dream.